It took Carlton only a few years to become a force, forging a fierce rivalry with Melbourne in the 1870s and dominating the Caledonian Challenge Cup. In those early days, the club's home ground was at Royal Park, but that changed in the 1880s when they obtained permission to use land that became its traditional home for more than a century at Prince's Park. The Blues entered the breakaway Victorian Football League in 1897 and after making a slow start, their fortunes began to improve under the control of Jack Worrell, a former Fitzroy footballer of high repute. Worrell has been universally regarded as league football's first official coach. Under Worrell, Carlton improved its position on and off the field, the Blues becoming the first VFL team to win three consecutive premierships. Its domination in 1908 was particularly significant, establishing a 19-1 win-loss record that stood for more than 90 years. Worrell left the club at the end of the 1909 season as the Blues went through some tough times, but they were back on top again in 1914-15 as coach Norman hackenschmidt Clark led them to successive premierships. In the period between 1904 and 1916, Carlton won five premierships and contested nine grand finals. Throughout the 1920s and 1930s, the Blues were regular finalists without being able to snare another premiership. Their fortunes rested heavily on the shoulders of their two star forwards, Horry Clover and Harry Soapy Valance. But it wasn't until 1938 that the Premiership returned to Princess Park, with former South Melbourne champion Brighton Diggins leading the way as captain coach. The Blues overcame the Magpies by 15 points in front of a record crowd at the MCG. As Australia joined the Allied forces at war, Carlton maintained a presence in the league. Diggins had retired and left the club, and the Blues searched outside their ranks for a new off-field leader. We found one in former Richmond coach Percy Bentley. While on the field, an inspiring leader emerged in the tough-as-nuts defender from Coryong, Bob Chitty. Under Bentley and Chitty, Carlton developed into a ruthless combination, complete with skill and strength. With Australia still at war, the Blues made a stuttering start to the 1945 season, before storming home to win 10 of their last 11 home and away games to finish fourth. After comfortably defeating North Melbourne in the first semi, Carlton came from behind to down Collingwood in the preliminary final. In what became known as the bloodbath, Chitty inspired his players to victory in a brutal grand final battle against South Melbourne before more than 62,000 fans at Prince's Park. Two years later, under new captain Ern Henfrey from Western Australia, Fred Stafford's great snap in the very last minute gave the Blues their eighth premiership as they beat Essendon by a point. It completed the perfect season as Bert Deacon became the club's first ever Brownlow medalist. Carlton would produce some great players in the 1950s, notably John Nichols and Sergio Silvani, but the best was yet to come. A Melbourne legend by the name of Barassi was about to resurrect the club. <laughs> 